Good morning. Looks to me we got a few Monster Hunter Wilds videos. They're just you like know, weapon overviews, like you what things you probably seen before. And we got Zelda with Echoes of Wisdom overview, or is it traveling trailer, something like that. So let me get right to it. So this is basic mechanics. Probably not in a trailer though. Probably too early. I don't know. I just have two weapon states: sheath and drawn. Of course. When you weapon and sheath, you can move faster and use items. Yeah, we all know that. We, we veterans do. Is this your first game? I don't know. When your weapon is drawn, your movement is limited, but your weapon can be used to attack. It really depends on what you have. Like you might be a little speedy, depending on the weapon. That's obviously a great sword. The sacred. Secret, sacred. The sacred is a creature that can be mounted, provided you with the means of travel. I didn't expect to read. My throat, I don't want my throat to dry out. It can guide you automatically to the target monster for your current quest. That'd be a little boring, right? Well, no, you know what? It can got the thing, ooh. Think about these, with these landscapes getting more realistic, while mounted, you can recover your health. Great, that's cool. Oh, wait, I forgot. Chopper will open like the, like the Palamutes. Use, ga use, gather useful hunting items and materials. And you'll even gain the ability to switch between primary and secondary weapon. Awesome, that, now that's cool. The Slinger. What's this? What's, that's a cannon. A standard equipment for any hunter. Oh. It allows you to find various types of ammo that you can gather in the environment. Oh, what? A tiny crossbow? A tiny bow gun? A various type of ammo that you can gather in the environment. Oh, snap. A flash bomb. Use the hook slinger to gather items from a distance. Or to interact with the environment. Doosh. Oh, snap! While writing your secret. Nice! Alright! Not bad. 